Happy Thursday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for today, March 11th. Thursday, you pick a card. It's your main energy. And March 11th, birthdays, we will get to you next. If you pick card number one for March 11th, you have the Five of Cups. All right. What I pick up here is some of you are just um, overthinking. Um, this could be something to do with money, uh, money worries, or you've been wanting, you, you're uh, waiting, waiting on some kind of money, okay? For some of you, it's like you're just thinking of property, uh, matters, home, um, maybe wanting to move, or your long-term investments. That is one part that I'm seeing. For others of you, you're just sad about um maybe some endings, uh, maybe you've been trying to do something, false starts, and but new doors are opening. There is some anger here. Um, I do see you're dealing with some kind of either resentment or anger. There could be a Libra energy as well. But this is um, coming to an end, okay? There is the positive, you're just not seeing it, okay? But it will come to an end. If you pick card number two, you have the chariot. As I said, it'll come to the end because when I pull it together, card to card, um, this, to me, you will, you know, it's an unexpected type of energies I'm picking up. It's like when you just least expect it, things come and just work themselves out. I see happiness, new emotional path, uh, beautiful energy here, new opportunities open up. You may feel like spring is here, like rebirthing is what I'm feeling. You're very driven, very high energy. I do like this. So it looks good today. It's like a win situation, Okay. If you pick card number three, you have the page of pentacles. To me, this is um, you starting either a side business, a new business, or there's an offer. Maybe it's um, a loan that you've been working on. Um, that is possible. Now, opportunities are there. I want to say there could be someone out there who wants your help financially, your time, your money, and that you're going to have to make a decision. For most of you, I feel it's a no because you're not going to get this money back or you're going to have to wait a long time to get the money back if you do help um, someone out financially. So you have to do what's right for you. Um, I do see it's like you may make you feel a little alone or, I mean, you know, feeling guilty or kind of empty or um, there's a void inside. But you have to do what's right for you, okay? But opportunities will present themselves. This could be someone just asking you for help. You do what is right for you, Okay. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm seeing there. So we have the five of cups, we have the chariot, and we have the page of pentacles. I do feel there is a lot of responsibilities been on your, on, on, uh, weighing on your shoulders. I do feel that there has been, um, this could be domestic issues too. It's where you've been nurturing, caring, taking care of things. You need to take some break. Okay, you're doing fine. You'll be okay. Just get, uh, take some breaks today is what I'm feeling too, especially if it's um, got to do with money, spending, or any kind of responsibilities. Rest, take um, a breath. There's a lot of energies I'm picking up today for some reason. There is uh, the Gemini energy. There's a Sagittarius energy, a Leo energy, an Aquarius energy. I don't know. I'm picking up those energies. Even before I picked up a Libra. Um, I feel there is a breaking free. It's a restless energy. So kind of like just um, take time for yourself. Break free. There, Everything you want, desire, it's there. It, um, It's just you need to be a little bit patient is what I'm feeling here. And manifestation um, is really high. So you can actually manifest things uh, sooner to you too. Okay. Um, I do feel that um, energy. It's a lot about money too today, okay? All right, the, um, I do feel good news will be coming in because the chariot is here too, okay? So good news will be coming through. All right. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday, um, Thursday, Thursday, not Wednesday. <laughs> Okay, March 11th, babies. Happy birthday if you're born today, March 11th, or if you know someone, and today is my husband's birthday, so happy birthday to my husband. <laughs> this is a very quick birthday reading. This is your solar year theme and your wish card, so let's take a look here. Solar year theme, Ace of Swords. Well, this is a year of um, victory, endings, closures, uh, very strong new beginnings. This is great epiphanies. There's a sense of victory here, okay? Strength as well. Um, expression is very important. I feel communications are going to be very important. Heart-to-heart -heart talks too. This is a year you may have to even make uh, quick decisions, pick a path, okay? Where communications have been shut down, they will be reopened again. Um, so expressing yourself is going to be important. That will bring you more luck. 
Um, when you make decisions in that, you will make the right choice is what I'm feeling too here. Okay. When it comes to work, school, career, um, I do feel that there is a lot of opportunities here. Some of you, it, you did well and it's going to be lucrative, um, where you start new job, new opportunity. Um, it, there is, um, lots of, um, I want to say fields open there for you. When it comes to your finances, you may be taking, um, don't make any quick decisions, but you may get some, you may want to invest in fun, adventurous things this year too. Maybe things you haven't done for a while. So it's almost like taking a leap of faith with the finances. And I do feel there is some lucky and money coming in. There's something in the works for you um, that you don't know about. It's like on universal time. So I do feel that is coming through. Some of you may invest on a long trip or something very adventurous. When it comes to love, I do feel here um, there is a new beginning here. You, you, If you're in a partnership, you've been through a lot. Now it's a new beginning. Um, forming new relationships, um, you're coming to a new beginning as well. All other relationships that has sucked your energy out, it is time to start new. Leaving them behind, moving forward, and it's like releasing a burden there. Okay, so that's looking good. Okay, your wish for your solar year is the Queen of Pentacles. Where you put your hard work in and what you nurtured um, with this wish, that is what you're supposed to do, is make that affirmation and nurture it very well. This will come to fruition just when you least expect it. For others of you, it's like you do not give up hope, okay? Um, it can take about eight months. Well, it's supposed to be for the solar year, but I do see there is a sense of it will come uh, to fruition, um, but it may take eight. I don't know why eight is coming up. Okay, the important numbers for your solar year is 2, 1, 10, um, 8, and 22. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year ahead, and everyone else a wonderful Thursday, and bye for now.